Road. Well, that's all over for him straight away. A superb Yorker swinging into Treskothic from Wackar. England north for one. First ball and this large Pakistani contingent are on their feet. Unbelievable, really. Ambassador Scottie usually has such good technique, but that found the gap and found it quite easily. A big gap between bat and pad there from Alpha Shrestati. Perhaps he was thinking the ball would have continued on the original line across his body. It certainly didn't. It's not for one. In the end gone. Wakar gets his second wicket. England have found it very, very difficult this morning after being put in. Nick Knight walks forlornly away, nothing he could do about that, the ball has bounced on him, seamed away, taken the shoulder of the bat and lobbed into the gully, where Afridi has taken the catch. Well, come to Headingley, and if it's overcast, it swings and it seems and it bounces, takes the shoulder of the bat, just survival for England, no more survival for him, Nick Knight, cursory look back at the pitch, Yes, it's seemed, yes, it's bounced, and yes, it's difficult. Knight's gone. Pakistan are ecstatic. England are 23 for two. In the air, and dropped. Well, that, that's a poor effort from Yusuf Yohana. That's just dobbed up to Yohana at extra cover. 3 now. Because Vaughan has gone. Scored at third slip, Eunice Khan snapped up, a pretty easy catch in the end of the day. But Wakar has got rid of the top three of England's order, Vaughan's miserable time continues. May not have the pace, no Wakar Eunice, but he's got the guile, he's got the experience, he knows how to ball on this sort of surface, full length. The pitch will do the rest, Michael Vaughan feels for the ball, stretches for the ball. And it's another strike for Pakistan. Michael Vaughan. Sorry time for him in this competition. He's gone for two. England, 30 for three. Away Sharp. He's in at number five. Getting used to uh, coming to the crease with England in a bit of a bit of a hole. And he's played well in this competition for England. He's been a find. Here's Wacko with his tail up. Gotta be out. Got to be out. Well, I'll tell you. I want to know why that's not out. You don't come much closer. Big shout. Full length delivery again. Skyline's in. Always Shah goes across. Was that sliding down the leg side? You can still see leg stump. It's hit him on the knee roll. He's on the line. That's close. Well, not, I don't think there's a problem with height. He's gone nowhere on the crease. I think that's hitting middle and leg just look plumb. Edged and gone. Magnificent piece of bowling. Inzima never moves straight into his hands. The Shah goes and England in all kinds of strife. What a delivery. The West Shah really had to play that one. Bringing a lot of joy to the Pakistani supporters here. They've come in large numbers to support the Pakistan team. And have a look at this delivery. Perfect line and length. Jumped at Aver Shah. And all the rush of the thief was going across, but in Zamamul Haq didn't lose his focus at all. A very good catch in the first leg. Comes to the crease with England in some disarray. Pitched and gone. That's another wicket. Paul Collingwood's gone. Eunice Khan taking the catch low. Well, 39 for 5. First ball for Paul Collingwood. He and Marcus Shostakovich. Both go first ball and Wacker gets his fifth wicket. A wonderful performance. And a very neat catch by Eunice Khan. Low down. It's been efficient work by the Pakistani fieldsman in the slip cordon. Early exit for the youngster, Paul Collingwood, gone for not. 
and England reeling at 39 for 5. High in the air and taken by Abdur Razak. Six wickets for the car Yunus. Fourth time he's done that, believe it or not, in one day internationals. Not surprisingly, Pakistan both on the field and in the terraces very much enjoying their day. Well, everything's going their way at the moment, isn't it? The minute we spoke about it, Alex Stewart tried to hit this ball down the onside, just got the leading edge. I think there has gone high, it's gone straight to the man at mid-off, Abdur Razak. A good catch there. Of six wickets now for Pakistan. Six for 50. Straight in the gloves this time. That's seven for Bakar Yunus. Great delivery. Catch well taken behind the stumps by Rashid Latif. First time he's taken seven. And these currently are the second best figures ever in one day internationals. Great day for Bakar Yunus. Well, unbelievable piece of bowling this. Good catching too as well. That sensational swing bowling. There's not much Cork could do about this. Right up in the block hole. Gets across. And just finds that outside edge. The feet aren't in too good a position there, but straight through to Latif. Cork leaves the scene. 7 for 58.